In the first of three videos, I'm going to be cutting the tongue using the main stock sliding section, fence and a tongue cutter. First thing to do is to install the tongue cutter. And you'll notice it's different from other cutters in that it's got an inbuilt depth stop on it. It goes in like any other blade. And we'll adjust its depth of cut so it's only taking a slight shaving to begin with. Next we'll put on the sliding section to give support to the left hand side of the cutter. And we need to line that up inside the outside edge of the cutter. You can be right on the outside or part way along but you must be underneath that cutting section not in the gap in the middle. For best support I tend to put it halfway. The spurs are all retracted because we're working with the grain and because the cutter has its own depth stop we can retract the forward depth stop to change the depth of cut we simply loosen off the machine screw and move the depth stop up or down as required and then lock off again finally we attach the fence and then we just need to adjust the fence to get the tongue in the right place I've found the centre of the the work using a mitre square and a tri square so we've got a cross right in the middle there now with the plane placed on the work with the cutter close to the X we can make adjustments to the fence just to bring it into centre like so just before I start cutting there's one other adjustment I'm going to make here because we're cutting quite a narrow board the sole of the sliding section if placed at the edge of the cutter is very close to the edge of the board and so there's a possibility it might tip off so I'm just going to move the sliding section a bit closer to the main stock so with the fence tight up against the work a light cut set we can take our first pass. Unfortunately with these cutters you do tend to jam up with shavings quite easily. So we'll make a few light passes to begin with. Now I'm going to advance the cutter a little bit. And we can continue until the depth stop on the cutter stops us going any deeper. Because I've only got a short board, it's quite easy to work the full length. 
If you're working on a very long board, then you might like to start at the far end, take a cut, walk back a bit, take another cut, and keep taking cuts going backwards. And you can finish off at to depth at the, at the one end of the board, gradually work back towards the other end, and when you've got to depth all the way along, one final cut for the full length should even everything out nicely. And you may have, may have been able to hear there, I'm not cutting at the end anymore because the depth stop is stopping me. And we're virtually there. And that's it. So cutting a tongue with a Stanley 45, a piece of cake. Cheerio.